Good morning dear friends. Welcome back to my channel. Here is a breakfast recipe coming up from the state of Karnataka. We are going to make potato sagu. This is a simple potato curry which is usually made and served for breakfast along with puris or dosas and appams. It is a simple curry with very few ingredients and can be made in a jiffy. If you have the boiled potatoes ready then it takes less than 5 minutes to make this curry. So shall we proceed? Potato sagu. It's an easy and delicious potato curry which is usually served for breakfast. It pairs well with puris or dosas. I have made some instant semolina and whole wheat flour dosas. So give this curry a try, make and enjoy. For this we will require boiled potatoes 5, I have peeled them, we are going to crush them later. Ginger 1 tablespoon, green chilies 2, you can use more if you like, handful of coriander leaves, salt to taste, finely chopped onions 2 to 3 tablespoons, gram flour or basin 1 tablespoon, turmeric powder quarter teaspoon. Now these are the ingredients for cooking we will be using. These are for tempering. Few curry leaves, chana dal 1 tablespoon, mustard seeds 1 teaspoon, 2 to 3 pinches of hing or asafoetida and oil about 3 to 4 tablespoons. Ingredients list is also shared in the description box. Now first we are going to crush these potatoes with hand. The pieces can be uneven, some small and some big. Traditionally, this is how the potatoes were added to the curries. They give body and thickness to the gravy. The old and traditional methods are always nice. Even the railway platform curry is made this way. Now this is done, we will set it aside. Heat oil in a pan. Once it is hot, first add the chana dal. We will allow it to fry a bit. Now add the mustard seeds. Let them crackle. Add the hing or a safutida followed by curry leaves. This is the simple tempering. Now add the ginger. I am adding grated ginger. You can add paste also if you want. And the green chilies. Green chilies can be added finely chopped or slit green chilies the way you like. Now goes in the onion. You can see that I have cut the onion very finely. You have to saute it until translucent. It will hardly take time because onion is chopped very finely. Keep stirring. By the way, have you subscribed to my channel? If not, please do so. Now add the gram flour or basin 1 tablespoon and saute it. Continue doing this until you get a nice aroma and the basin changes the color. Reduce the flame. You do this on medium flame so that it doesn't get burnt. Now add the turmeric. Give it a stir and add one and a half cups of water to begin with. Later we may need to add little more. Give it a stir. Add salt to taste. Now we will let this come to a boil. Once it starts boiling add the crushed potatoes once you have the boiled potatoes ready the curry takes less than 10 minutes now partially cover it until it starts to boil 
this you can do on high flame then reduce the flame cover with the lid and cook it on low flame intermittently open the lid and keep stirring so that it doesn't get stuck to the bottom of the pan and burn you will see that the gravy is also beginning to thicken after stirring for two th three times until you feel the potatoes are done and ready check the salt if you are serving it immediately this consistency is perfect you can add coriander leaves and serve it right away but if you think you are going to serve it little later then you add some more water I'm adding about half cup because until you make the puris this gravy is going to thicken up after adding water give one or two boils and curry is done now this is after 15 minutes of resting see it is thick and more adjust the gravy according to your liking so friends make and enjoy this delicious curry it's always nice to try out various dishes from different regions it's quick and easy also you can enjoy it with puris it pairs very well with puris and dosas stay tuned for the next recipe bye until then thanks for watching and check out these videos from the archives you might like them also